in a talk show called Face to Face. Shen is answering the host questions. Good evening, everyone. Let's welcome the founder of Innovation Kitchen, which is a popular restaurant branding consultancy and the partner of the first Michelin three-star restaurant in mainland China, Dumpling Airline. Let's meet Zhang Shan. Hi, Shan. Will you please talk about what led you to today's success? It was a long story, but all in all, thanks to Badu Profit, without it. I would end up being mediocre and doing something I'm not passionate about through my entire life. Back to her childhood, Shan wasn't born in a rich family. Her mom is a teacher. Her dad is running a traditional Chinese restaurant. He never let her into a kitchen, even though she showed a good sense of food. He told her that cooking is not meant for anyone; it is too intensive. He wanted her to be an office lady. Considered a typical middle-class job, she totally understood her dad's intention because there's a saying in China that big head, thick neck, either a money bag or a cook. So she worked so hard since elementary school to make her parents happy. When she was 18, before college, the college entrance examination is a turning point for lots of people's life, especially kids from poor family. It is a chance for students to compete against each other fairly, regardless of their family background. The whole family, even the whole city, will be proud of you if you enroll into the top ten universities in China. As long as you get into a famous university, people don't care what major you are studying. Hence, more students sacrifice their interests and choose an easy-to-apply major in a famous university. As the top ten students in class, Shan is considered to be a potential candidate for Beijing University. She will have to sacrifice her interest in cooking and painting, and apply for accounting in Beijing University. People who study art are mostly considered as students who are less smart and are not doing well in high school, and even graduates from cooking schools are considered lower in status and get lower wage. There is an old Chinese saying that a woman is afraid of marrying the wrong man, a man is afraid of taking the wrong career. Even for today, career decision is also crucial in one's life. She was struggling with her life decision. She put on her Baidu VR and walked into the virtual Baidu town, where every Baidu product has its own theme building. One of the buildings in the town has a signage "I do profit." The name sounded like that it might nail the answer to her question and might solve her confusion. She used her Baidu ID to unlock the door and, meanwhile, allow Baidu Profit to access her profile. Here, she entered the hall with doors leading to the unknown world. Baidu Profit shows all the keywords. She might care about according to her lifestyle on doors. She opened the door of university. In the university room, she saw more options of keywords related to university. She entered the room of career test. The background voice asked her a bunch of questions related to her interests, and opened more possible doors for her. Each door leads to a recommended career for her. She realized that she should take creative jobs like designers and artists in all fields. Then she heard the voice again. "Want to experience the job before you make up your mind?" She said yes. "Go ahead and open the door with the job name on it." She opened the door of Advanced Chef. There are Badu's official version developed by VR experts and other versions provided by users from all the world. In the scene, she seemed to be a chef. She could see her virtual hands playing with all kinds of food ingredients, and talking with cooks around her. She found it so interesting. Then she tried the job of a painter, an architect, etc. According to the evaluation of Badu Profit, she performed better in the food-related jobs than other jobs she tried. Under the recommendation list, she saw. People who have the same test result as you around the world in the past two years, 
She clicked on it. A world map pop up. She clicked on one person's profile. John Paul. He did this test one year ago before he went to college. Now he's interning at George Black, one of the Michelin three-star restaurants in France. She followed him on Badu Worldlink. She was impressed by his study experience in La Cordon Bleu, which is one of the best culinary school in the world. And she asked him if they can have a video chat. Badu interpreter translated for them while they were talking their own languages. She was so impressed by his life as a culinary student in La Cordon Bleu. She asked him if they could show her around his school using Badu AR. After the talk, she was even more attracted by the culinary art. She wanted to persuade her parents to let her pursue her real interest. Shan Paul in La Cordon Bleu, Shan in China with parents. Shan turned on her Badu laptop and asked her parents to join them while Shan Paul took her around La Cordon Bleu virtually with a private glass. Her parents, who have never had an interest in Western food, were stunned by the beautiful culinary art created by chefs there. Jean Paul introduced her to some successful and influential people in this field. They can view the stories of them through the link Jean Paul sent them. They were aware that an ordinary job in China could be so high-end in Western countries. The job is so respected in France, and well-known chefs can be celebrities. Her parents started to change their bias on culinary jobs, which was what Shan wanted to see. Then she showed her parents the test result from Badu Profit, and some successful chefs who had the same test result as her. In the end, her parents decided to support her dream. In Paris. Her dream came true with the support from her family. She broadened her horizon in Paris and gradually built her social network through Badu Worldlink. She still remembers the first time she went to a party on a cruise with her instructors and classmates. She really wanted to share this experience with her parents, so she was wearing her Badu AR there, so her parents from China could see what she saw at the same time. And her parents recorded the whole process, and also showed it to her grandparents. They all felt so happy and proud of her. She was impressed by the world view of Westerners. She was eager to dig more into the culture, so she visited museums. In the Louvre Museum, she was wearing Badu AR, which will translate. Everything she saw in the museum and provide links to relevant information. Then a wardrobe with a decoration of blue and white porcelain caught her attention. At the first sight, she thought it came from China. However, when she moved closer, she noticed that the content of the porcelain painting is a typical thing in Western life. She tapped the AR and asked, "What is this art?" Then. The AR showed all the links related to shenwazi, which is an imitation or evocation of Chinese motifs and techniques in Western art, furniture, and architecture, especially in the 18th century. It turned out that Western countries used to admire Chinese culture as much as we admire their culture today. Then, she couldn't help asking herself. What can we do to bring back the positive influence of Chinese culture? After graduation, in a Michelin three-star restaurant in Paris, she started as an intern in George Bank. After graduation, the work was intensive because of all the recipes she needed to memorize as soon as possible. At the very beginning, Badu AR helped her a lot by showing the recipe. While she was cooking, every day when she got home, she went over the experience in the restaurant using Badu VR. Little by little, she built an experience library in the form of a tree, which helped her organize the culinary system she learned. 
with her hard work and the help of Badu Prophet, she soon became a sous chef. Through Badu China Link, a social network that connects all Chinese around the world, she met Long, which was a Chinese industrial designer, and they became good friends. One day, when they were hanging out and talking about their dreams, she said. Even though France is the dream country of so many people around the world, she won't stay here forever. She missed her parents and wanted to go back to China and start a new business, but she was not sure what business it might be and where she could start. Long enlightened her. Oh, since it is hard to open a French restaurant in China. What if you start a restaurant branding consultancy, which creates innovative Chinese cuisine recipe and give constructive advice to restaurant owners to rebrand themselves for more profits? With your knowledge in food and restaurant and my expertise in branding strategy, it is possible. Meanwhile, we can also get support from Baidu Entrepreneurship Incubator. That sounds like a good plan. They got so excited about this idea and decided to go back to China and carry it out. In China, they turned in their entrepreneurship proposal to Baidu Incubator, elaborating their plan of bringing Chinese restaurant service to a whole new level, and creating more than just pleasant dining experience. They met investors on this platform and carried out the plan just as fast as Chinese construction speed. Later on, she rebranded her dad's restaurant and opened franchise restaurants around the country, which is today's well-known dumpling airline. The one in Shen's hometown turned out to be the first Michelin three-star restaurant in mainland China. It attracts tons of foreign tourists to her hometown, driving the local economy to some extent. Back to the talk show. Without the help of Baidu, I wouldn't have gone this far, Shen says with a confident smile on her face. And I know it is just the start. As long as we have dreams, we will get there.